Getting into BIOS can be very frustrating, but don't worry because today I'm going to share with you how to enable secure boot Windows 10 trick done without affecting your PC. I'm about to reveal two of the easiest ways to enable secure boot state in Windows 10, whether it's a home, enterprise or pro versions of Windows that you are using, or any BIOS, motherboard, graphics card or processor that you might be using, such as Dell, Lenovo, HP, MSI, ASRock, Coras, Gigabyte, AMD or Intel, this video will help. Also, make Make sure to stick with us till the end so you don't get into trouble following the simple steps. But first, it's important that we learn about what Secure Boot is, when to enable it, how it may help you, its drawbacks and precautions before actually learning how to do it the right way. So first, let's learn what is a Secure Boot. Secure Boot is a feature that helps protect your computer from security threats by scanning the signatures during the startup and verifying the programs that your computer are coming from a trusted source. It is supported in Windows 8, Windows Windows 10 and recently in Windows 11. What does Secure Boot do? When you turn on your computer, Secure Boot checks the digital signature of each piece of boot software including the firmware, bootloader and operating system. If the signatures are valid, the computer boots normally. If the signatures are invalid, the computer will not boot at all. Secure Boot can help protect your computer from malware in many different ways. Malware can try to infect your computer by booting itself off before Windows starts. Secure Boot prevents malware from being installed on your computer during the boot process and thus prevents them from modifying the boot resources. Root kits are malware that can hide deep into your computer's operating system. Secure Boot can help to prevent root kits from infecting your computer by only allowing signed software to boot up. Boot sector viruses can infect your hard drive. Secure Boot can prevent boot sector viruses from infecting your computer. Also, it makes it difficult for unauthorized users to enter your system. Keep watching as you might want to learn about the downsides and precautions to take before implementing the steps to enable secure boot in Windows 10. And while you do that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and recommend down what else do you want to learn. I'll be here to help. Alright, let's get back to the topic. Are there any downsides of secure boot in Windows 10? Yes, there are definitely some dark sides of implementing the methods on how to enable secure boot for Windows 10. First and foremost, make sure that the BIOS you are updating is authentic, up-to-date and from a trusted source. This means that it should be from the original manufacturer or your motherboard and the latest version available. If you are trying to securely boot Windows 10 with an outdated or corrupt file, it could prevent your computer from booting again and make it unusable. Using the secure boot method in Windows 10 can prevent you from dual booting, which is the ability to run two operating systems on the same computer. This is only because the BIOS is responsible for loading the operating system. Only one operating system can run at a time after enabling the secure boot, which is obviously the default version of the Windows that you are using. Make sure that the BIOS process is compatible with the hardware, different motherboards use different BIOS firmware, so what works for one motherboard may not work for another. The process that works on Dell might not work on Lenovo as the BIOS firmware interface are different for every brand and company. Before learning and executing how to enable secure boot on Windows 10 PC, be sure to back up all your important files and system files. If possible, download a copy of the BIOS file from the official website of your PC manufacturer. This is not mandatory but it is a good precaution in case something goes wrong. Make sure that your laptop or desktop computer is properly grounded and has a full battery backup before booting into safe mode. Also, watch this video carefully and follow the instructions instructions precisely to avoid any problem. If you are not comfortable enabling secure boot by yourself, take your computer to a qualified technician, they can do it safely and correctly. I recommend that you only enable secure boot if you are an expert or have a good understanding of what you are doing. Otherwise you may risk damage in your computer, you are doing it at your own risk and I will not be responsible for it. How to check BIOS version in Windows 10 Pro or other versions? Just press Windows plus R hotkey and type resedit, then press enter to launch the register editor window click on yes or ok if the windows asks for permissions then navigate to this path s key local machine hardware description system bios then you'll see the BIOS version with its version number under the data column. That's one of the Windows 10 tips and tricks to get the BIOS version. Then you can visit the official website of your manufacturer and verify if it's the noon or not. One more thing before we dive into how to enable secure boot Windows 10 PC, let's make sure it's not already enabled. There are two methods to do this. Right click the start menu and select settings. Click update and security. 
Windows Security and click Open Windows Security. Click the Windows Security tab in the left hand sidebar. If you see something like this, it means Secure Boot is disabled on your PC. If it were enabled, you would see an option for it here next to Core Isolation and Security Processor. To check the Secure Boot state, open the Start menu, scroll down to Windows Administrative Tools and expand it. Click on System Information. Another quick way to do this is by pressing Windows plus R hotkey on the keyboard. Then write MS Info 32 and press Enter. Look for Secure Boot State under Items. It should be turned off or written is off under the values column. So these are the two methods to check if Secure Boot is turned on or not. Enough of the talk, let's get to the main parts why we are here. Let's learn how to enable the secure boot Windows 10. By the way, I'm using a Dell laptop, but the steps are similar for other models too. Just make sure you understand the previous instructions and are prepared. Everything will be the same except for a few minor differences. Also be sure to back up your data in case anything goes wrong. And before you start, close all open windows and terminate the background programs. Alright, here is the method. Open the start menu and hold down the shift key on your keyboard. While still holding the shift key, click the restart option. Wait for your computer to restart. This may take longer or shorter depending upon your computer's capabilities. On the choose and option screen, click troubleshoot. On the troubleshoot screen, click advanced options. On the advanced options screen, click UEFI firmware settings. Click restart. Wait for your computer to restart and enter the BIOS setup menu. If you see a screen like the one I have here on my screen, we're on the same page. But if you see a different interface, don't worry. The secure boot option may be located in a different place. For example, on some computer, you may need to expand the security tab to find the secure boot option. Just make sure to read the options carefully and select the correct one. Remember, the important thing is to make sure that the secure boot is enabled. So now I'm gonna expand the secure boot tab by clicking on this plus icon and then click on secure boot enable. By default, this is disabled at this moment. I'm gonna activate it by clicking on this enable checkbox. And then I'm gonna apply this. You do not need to click the Save as Custom User Settings checkbox. Just click on OK, then select Exit to restart Windows in the secure boot state. So while this happens, all you need to do is wait for your PC to restart properly. So here is the solution on how to enable secure boot Windows 10 using CMD. Go to Cortana search box and type in CMD. Right click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator grant permissions. So here is the command that you need to execute inside command from the console. I will also write it down on the description box. Be sure to read it. So the command is shutdown slash r slash fw. Basically that's how to enable secure boot Windows 10 using CMD by entering UEFI firmware settings. After this you will have to perform the same steps as I told you earlier in the video. Now that I have restarted my PC in secure boot mode, let's verify that it's enabled. To do that, let's quickly launch Windows Security and go to Device Security. As you can see, we have a third option called Secure Boot here, which means Secure Boot is successfully enabled on our Windows 10 computer. Let's verify that Secure Boot is enabled using our second method. As you can see the secure boot state is turned on. Now, I see a lot of you have been searching for things like how to enable secure boot in Windows 10 without BIOS. The BIOS or basic input output system is a low level program responsible for initializing the hardware on your computer and starting the boot process. It is a firmware program that is stored on a chip on the motherboard of a computer. The secure boot itself is implemented inside the BIOS program by default from the manufacturers and Windows 10 cannot control the BIOS settings for secure boot cause they both are different programs. So these are some of the methods on how to enable secure boot state windows 10 if you are not sure whether or not you should enable secure boot it's best to consult with your computer's manufacturer or a qualified technician subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss more videos about windows 10 tricks and trips and much more check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of windows 10 tutorial and i'll see you in the next video take care